This is Pearly Poa. I had a father. I am a private tutor. I work with children ranging from the age of 5 to 12. Mainly I work with normal children and children with special needs. I am a mother of two. I have a daughter and a son. I also have a younger brother and a younger sister. Okay. Um, my dad passed away last year. He was 68 years old. Uh, my mother is still around. He, she is 61 years old this year. My father is a traditional Chinese man. He does not really know how to express himself. Uh, I guess that is the reason why as his children we don't feel very close to him. But actually we do know that he loves us a lot. Uh, say for example when I was 10 years old, that was like about 30 years ago. My father is a very thrifty man. Uh, if he drops a 20 cent coin, he would try all ways and mean to try to retrieve the 20 cent coins even if it's at a very obscure corner. But he will not hesitate to spend $800 on a mountain bike which I asked for uh, during that time. Uh, I merely only said, uh, Dad, I want to have a bicycle. Immediately, he brought me to the bicycle shop next to our shop and he said, Okay, uh, why don't we get a bike? Choose one. And then he chose one for me. I didn't know what to choose. And that cost like $800. I was like, oh, uh, I don't need one that's so expensive. And he said, it's okay. He will buy it for me. Before my dad got married with my mother, he was a driver who transport uh, building materials. So after they got married, he they did not start a business so soon. When I was five or six years old, they decided to start their own business. And... Uh, my father being not educated, he he resumed his role as a driver. He helped out in uh, transporting the building materials around and then my mother was the one who who handled all the business transactions, who will meet up with the suppliers. Um, both of them will work together and they will make uh, important decisions. After a few years, when the business was uh, more stable, my father didn't didn't need to be the driver anymore. So because we had employed our own other drivers, so he kind of took a back seat and uh, relaxed because he basically didn't really need to do much, and and that was a time where he he thought of doing some other businesses. He had all these friends who will come up to him with business ideas. He will put money into them. Because of the fact that my father is a very gullible person, he tends to believe or trust people too easily, which in turn end up, ended up that he lost all the money that he invested into whichever business he dabbled in. Um, which was quite sad because it's some of it's mostly is the hard earned money that they had accumulated during the years throughout the years. So, um, so to say that my dad is not a very good businessman. Okay, but one thing that I learned from him is because why he is gullible is because he has a good heart. So, uh, he he doesn't think that people will will lie to him, will try to con him of his money. Uh, so that is one good thing that I can think about him. So how has... What are the good things you learned from your dad? Mm. One of the good things I learned from my dad is uh, to be contented with what we have uh, we live within our means because my dad is a thrifty person he doesn't spend money excessively he would always think about what he wants to buy and he's not someone who who spends money on trivial things or just buy things at his whims and fancy 
Um, one of the funny thing that I can remember about my dad is, you know, when when we were kids, and then if we have a bad spelling result or a bad test result, uh, I wouldn't really dare to get my mother to sign it. So I will wait for my mother to go to work, and then my father was still asleep. So I will wake him up, and in his uh, uh, half awake and half asleep mode, I will get him to sign my bad results. So he will he will do it. He will sign, and then he'll go like what like that, and then I was like. I'll give him a sheepish smile and then I'll just run off and then, oh, okay, never mind, I need to hand it up to teacher already. The not so good thing that I inherited from him would be his sharp temperedness. I am very sharp tempered. I get angry easily, but I forget easily as well. That is just like my dad. Uh, he is a very kind person and I believe that uh, I am also kind and I always practice to be compassionate to other people and I trust that my dad is someone like that although he doesn't really say it because we can see or feel from his actions he he also never say no to us like if we were to ask him to buy us things or we would ask him for money he I do not remember that he has ever rejected us before. Uh, I am a single mother so when I told my parents that uh, I have a daughter because I moved out of home for quite a number of years and then after I gave birth to my daughter uh, when she was four months old then I told my parents that I had a child. So both my parents were very embracing, they did not scold me, they did not reprimand me but instead they welcomed my daughter and me back to the family. Uh, my dad never asked me once like uh, who the father is, uh, how did you get yourself pregnant, why did you want to be a single mother and all that. So instead he focused his uh, love and energy on my daughter whom he loves very very much. Um, like it's just like the he's just like the most doting grandfather that you can see, and sometimes I can see that my daughter is bullying her grandfather, and the grandfather doesn't seem to mind one bit, and he seems to be enjoying every minute of it. So uh, he will bring my daughter out downstairs for a walk he will actually play with my daughter he will talk to my daughter and he will do things with her which he would never have done it with us so maybe age has also mellowed him and he was able to express himself better during his old age Give some examples of uh, how your daughter bully him. So my daughter would sometimes, like when he is playing computer games at the computer, so my my daughter will go and disturb him, just plong herself on his lap and start to mess up the game that he's playing, and and if for a normal person, uh, once or twice. The little kid might seem cute, but if it's every single time, you'll probably get annoyed. But he never get he never gets annoyed with my daughter because he will just let her have her way. And he actually even taught her how to play the games, the computer games on the computer. And they will uh, play together and sometimes, you know, being, being young kids, when they are angry, they tend to smack the adult. So when when my daughter does that to my father, he he doesn't retaliate. He just let her have her way. Like even like smacking him on his face, she was just he will just laugh laugh it off. <laughs> In twenty fourteen, just one week before the Lunar New Year. My dad went to 
my dad went to Malaysia with his friends and then during the night we received a phone call from one of his friends saying that he suffered a stroke so my mom was the one who took the call and immediately we went down to the hospital because over in JB they had arranged for an ambulance to bring him back to Singapore so initially I thought that it was a minor stroke it was something not so serious we waited for him at the hospital but when when he arrived at the hospital he was still conscious he but he wasn't focusing so the minute that he was wheeled into the operating theater he went into a coma so the coma lasted for 10 days and it was during that period of time that we realized that the stroke was very serious it had actually affected his breathing and the hemorrhage was found to be at the core of his brain which is uh, most of the time this kind of stroke is fatal so it came at a shock as a shock because we didn't expect him to have a stroke he is someone who is very health conscious he takes health supplements he exercises he used to cycle and and now and when he didn't cycle my my brother-in-law which is my sister's husband taught him a few sets of yoga steps and he does them three times a day diligently so being someone who is so health conscious and suddenly suffering a stroke and when it was fatal it was very hard for for me to accept that he was gone just like that because I actually had plans to bring him for holiday uh, to to actually you know let him uh, enjoy his retirement and all that but all these happened so suddenly that uh, we did not have a chance to to carry out all these activities together with him and one year more than one year has passed I'm still trying to come to terms that uh, he is no longer around um, I kind of regret that I did not take the chance to to bring him for a holiday uh, much earlier or to to spend more time with him or to do the things that he might have liked to do um, but I guess I have to move on as he's no longer around as my dad is someone who is not very expressive I would have preferred that if he had spent more time with us or uh, talk to us a little bit more be a little bit more open to us uh, I guess I would be very contented. There is a saying that the daughters are the dad's previous life's lovers. So dad, dads will naturally love daughters more than sons. So not that they do not love their sons, but they will always feel closer to their daughters. So some of the dads, they may not, be, they may not know how to express themselves, but as children, uh, probably we can try to engage them we can try to talk to them more so that they they don't feel shy and engage more in your time with them i think they will they will like it as well for all the dads out there i would say spend more time with your children uh, they do not even mind if you talk nonsense talk shit with them they will find everything that you do funny and for all the children out there uh, I would say treasure your parents um, it's a very uh, uh, simple saying always treasure your loved ones around you we always hear that but I guess for me I I, I could only feel it when my dad suddenly passed away I actually felt that uh, I didn't do enough I didn't spend enough time with him and I regretted not doing more things with him spending more time with him so as much as as is easy to say don't wait for 
things to happen so a lot of times when something happens it is always too late so go and spend more time with your parents when they are still around okay, currently we are spending a lot of time with uh, our mother so we meet up with her uh, two or three times a week so she she as as she drives so she will drive to meet us for lunch and over the weekend either we will go to her house to stay or she will come over to our house to stay like today she's at my house cooking and i have to go back for dinner later this has been pearly poa happy father's day